So Stephen, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation, we talked that in resume, they should kind of put an accomplishment statement, which is the star method, situation, task, accomplishment, and result. So in terms of preparation for an interview, I tell my clients, read the company, check their social platform, check the interviewer or the recruiter that's going to interview you and prepare some questions at the end. Do you have any other methods or for the star method? How should they pre prepare for an interview? Yeah, absolutely. So I have an entire activity that I help people with when they prepare for interviews. And starting out from the beginning, get clear on the specifics of the interview. Mm -hmm. So what are the expectations? You just referenced like, who are you talking to? So it could be the hiring manager. It could be the recruiter. It could be any members of the team. Yeah. Like really know when the interview is going to occur. What medium is the interview happening in? Is it a phone call? Is it a video? Is it on site? As well as like who you're talking to so you can do research about them. Yes. So prepping for the interview is important with that. As well as when you're doing research on not just the company and the person that you're talking to, look at ways that you might be able to relate to that person. Mm. So if you have geography in nature, if you worked at previous employers at different times, if you have similar interests or hobbies that you can pick up on their LinkedIn profile, be like, oh, I also went to that school or, oh, I saw that you're also into this field. Like then when you pull out answers to their questions, you can be more relatable than just a generic answer. Yeah, kind of an icebreaker. Absolutely. An icebreaker or even if they're like, tell me about a time when you were in this like a bad experience or where something failed. If yeah. you're like, hey, I know this person relates to the financial industry, I'm going to pull out an answer related to their experience yes. and it answers their questions. And at the very end, do you have any specific uh, tips on what question they should ask or it all depends what the person wants from that job? Absolutely, there's tips for that. So when you prepare for an interview, preparing questions that are relevant to that person and then also having a few questions that you consistently ask. Hmm. For example, one question that I personally ask and recommend people ask regularly is, what do you expect from somebody in this role? Mm. Yeah. So like as a designer, the expectations from your hiring manager might be different than the developer or the recruiter or your business partners. So yeah. by asking each person, hey, what is your expectations for somebody in this role allows you to connect the dots of, is this the role that you want to be in? Yeah. Those are great tips, Stephen. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, Leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Stephen.